Good evening. My name is Jeff Matner and I'm the Regional Director for the Association of Christian Schools International, of which you are a member. ACSI is the largest Christian school association in this nation and also the world, serving more than 24,000 schools and 5.5 million school children. Thank you for being a part of the ACSI family. These have not been the easiest last six years for Christian schools here in this country, with declining enrollments and far too many of our Christian schools closing their doors. But I also want to tell you how the Christian schools are exploding across our globe, even in areas where the gospel typically cannot be preached in the 1040 window. Christian schools are prospering in what president of ACSI, Dr. Dan Egler, calls the great tsunami of world evangelism. So thank you for being a part of the expanded ACSI family. I'm sorry I can't be with you tonight, but glad I can be with you in spirit and through this video message. I want to talk to you about a value proposition. Christian education is considered by some a a privilege for others, a mandate, but no matter how you view it, I think all of us can agree that Christian school education is a value proposition. And by value proposition, I mean simply this mathematical equation that value equals benefits over or compared to cost. The higher the numerator, the higher the value you ascribe to something. For example, when you look to purchase a car, you look at the sticker price for sure, but just as important, you look at the perceived benefits that come with the car. Miles per gallon, how many airbags, the safety record, maybe even the color and how sporty or young it makes you look. You compare those things against the cost and you make a value decision. It's benefit compared to cost. You purchase a car that way, you purchase new jeans that way, and you even purchase a Christian school education that way. Oftentimes it's not that we can't afford a Christian school education, though that happens enough. It's that we don't value it. Or people see the price tag and they conclude that it's just not worth the cost. But it is worth it. It's just that too often we in the Christian school world are not so good about tooting our own horn, or should I say the Lord's horn, but he declares in Psalm 103 that we are to remember his wondrous works. So while I realize I'm in danger of indeed preaching to the choir, please allow me the privilege of sharing with you the real value of Christian school education. Now you would expect that from me, a regional director of the Association of Christian Schools International, but what you don't realize about me is that I served in Christian schools for 29 years, 26 of which were head of school. But even more importantly, I'm a father of three girls, and all of our girls attended Christian schools from four-year-old preschool through elementary, through middle school, through high school, and I had the privilege of awarding each of our girls their high school diploma, and then, yes, even Christian college for each of them. So I'm not only a regional director and a Christian school educator, but I'm also a very grateful dad. Okay, so what is the value of Christian school education? Well, just recently, an independent research group called the Cardis Group conducted a study of thousands of Christian school graduates to see how well the Christian school was accomplishing its mission. That is, what did the Christian school help to produce in these graduates? We already knew that ACSI graduates attend college at a much higher rate than the public schools at 86 to 68 percent respectively, and that since 1974, ACSI schools have scored significantly higher than the national norm in every grade level on standardized tests. But what the Cardis study also showed is that our students and your students are more likely to pray and read scripture after they graduate from your Christian school. They are more likely in marriage to pray with their spouse and their children to attend church regularly, and to respect the authority of church leadership. Moreover, Christian school graduates give more significantly to the church and to other religious and charitable causes. 
Christian school graduates give more of their time in mission trips and in relief and aid trips globally. Our graduates stay married longer, have more children, and believe the scriptures to be the inspired, infallible, authoritative Word of God. In summary, our graduates and your graduates are the salt and light of the earth. Now how does this happen? It doesn't happen just from osmosis, because we know from other studies that two out of three teens are leaving the church today. Why is it that Christian school graduates are the kind of students and the kind of young people we would hope to have? Well, it certainly doesn't happen by accident. One of the benefits of Christian school education is that students on a daily and regular basis hide God's word in their hearts. From the pledge to the Bible, where they say, I will hide God's word in my heart that I might not sin against God, to the daily lessons where God's word is incorporated into the subject matter. It's not subject matter and the Bible, but rather the subject matter through the lens of God's word. Another benefit of Christian school education is having godly role models before our kids on a daily basis, where we would have teachers who would say like the Apostle Paul, imitate me even as I imitate Jesus Christ. My oldest daughter, when she went to college, declared her major to be a middle school teacher. And when I asked her why she wanted to be a teacher, she cited her female math teacher in high school. She said about her, she's young, she's pretty, she loves the Lord, she wants to make a difference in kids' lives, and I want to be just like her. I'm grateful for the impact of godly role models in the life of our kids. Another benefit of Christian school education is our children surrounded by godly friends. It says in the book of Corinthians, do not be deceived, bad company corrupts good morals. And our children need to have godly role models in their friends around them. Another benefit of Christian school education is a school that sees itself as partnering with the home and church. As it says in Ecclesiastes 4, that a threefold cord is not quickly broken. And when home, church, and school are working together to create a foundation in the life of a child, that foundation will not quickly be broken. Another benefit of Christian school education is teachers giving students an eternal perspective on life. I remember visiting a public school where prominently posted on the hallway walls was a poster that stated the reason for education and it had pictures of money, wealth, power, prestige, fame. Wow, so sad. Compare that with the letter that I received some years ago from a basketball coach from a team that we had just played. Can I read it for you? He writes, I wanted to let you know how impressed the team coaches and I were with how hard your team played on Friday night and the class and sportsmanship they showed. Numerous players remarked after the game, on not just the skill and effort of your players, but that your players were the most sportsmanlike group they ever played against. As I planned to tell the team at today's practice, Friday night was the best spirit of competition I have ever seen as a coach. Both teams competed and did everything ethical to win, but when the game was over, there were no hard feelings. Although I'm sure you and your team were disappointed at losing the game in double overtime, your team showed tremendous class on how they handled themselves. Personally, I struggle with losing and am working on dealing with defeat in a more constructive manner. Your young men provided a valuable lesson not just for me, but for the entire basketball program. Please thank your players for helping to remind me how to keep sports in its proper perspective. Although my faith is not as strong as theirs appears to be, it is obvious they have their priorities in order. Their example is one that will not soon be forgotten. Thanks for such an enjoyable and educational experience on Friday, and best of luck throughout the season. We'll be rooting for you. Now that's why we do what we do. Giving an eternal perspective on things. 
And perhaps a final benefit of Christian school education is that we get to teach truth and combat falsehood. Colossians 2.8 says, See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. I believe that we are swimming against the cultural stream of our culture like never before. And we need to combat falsehood and teach truth to our young people. There are so many benefits of Christian school education, as you well know. Remember that value means it's worth the cost, worthy of your support, worthy of your sacrifice, worthy of your commitment. It's an act of understanding the value and stepping out in faith to grow in obedience and the grace of giving. And may the Lord bless you as you step out in faith to do just that. Thank you.